Do you hear that? It's like a croak or something. I don't even know what the freak I am. <laughs> hey guys, hopefully you're having a good Saturday. Can we get some dramatic music in the back, please? Thank you. Now, today was one of those days when no matter how hard I searched for the latest games to play for you guys, I was just drawing a blank just about everywhere. Today, I actually spent so long thinking about what game I wanted to play that basically, this is how I feel right now. And you guys can determine if this is an effect or not. But then, a solution came to me. You guys seem to be really enjoying the puppet combo style of horror games, and so that's exactly where we're gonna check this one out here, appropriately named Babysitter Bloodbath. <laughs> Yeah. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to- Well, I've already said the name of the game, right? This is once again another puppet combo horror game and you guys seem to be really enjoying their style of games So I figured I'd go back and check this one out. This was named Halloween the horror game I think before but copyright basically. Some of you guys may have remembered me actually playing this game with Bazamalam But I can't remember for the life of me how this game goes and I did want to check it out again for a solo experience Also, if you do want to see more puppet combo horror games, I think you know exactly what to do all right, here we go. Pig Pharma Games Presents. I think that was the name of their company before they changed it to Puppet Combo. Babysitter Bloodbath. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, and it cuts basically straight to the sequence here. Go walking up to a house. Seems like this is in the middle of nowhere, to be honest. She rings the doorbell. Mark. Hi, Sarah. We're so glad you could come on such short notice. Uh, <laughs> Sarah's standing on one of those cake stands, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let me take your coat. So, Mark seems like a genuine guy. Probably gonna be the killer. Hi, Sarah. We're so glad you could come on such short notice. Yeah, your husband, Daryl Dixon, just said already. Billy is really excited to see you. So I can see in the back, I think. Is that him running laps right there? No problem, Mrs. Johnson. Before we go, do you have any questions? How can I reach you? Can I get paid now? No! Probably should ask about reaching her. You you might want to write down this number. 555-7898. Okay, hold up. Listen, guys, if they tell me to write something down, I'm gonna do it physically, okay? We're gonna need this at some point. Anything else? What time should I put Billy to bed? Do you have a long distance? Wait, what? So that's what time Billy needs to go to bed. Don't worry about that. He picks his own bedtime. Also, feel free to do whatever he says. Uh, we're gonna see about that. Depends what he asks us to do. We must be going. Talk when we get back. Okay, Linda and Mark, you guys have fun. I don't know what the freak you're doing. Let's try and catch your son, aka Sonic the freaking hedgehog right now. Also, yeah, WD-40 your door up, my goodness. All right, and so the game begins. Look at this, walking around. I mean, I see Billy right here, so try and catch him. There we go. Bro, what the freak, your son is glitching out. So wait, if I just stand right here, is he gonna run straight into me? <laughs> All right, Billy, gonna leave you to do that. The freak is with the static though. Ooh, okay, if we hold right click, we can actually look around a little bit in first person. But what's the actual objective right now? We can simply look around the place, explore, I think. That's about as far as everything goes, you see? Yeah, this is a very, very old puppet combo horror game, guys. I think this was like one of their early projects, so it's gonna be interesting to see exactly how they've evolved. But let's get going right now. That freak. Uh, I saw Billy running around, so who's playing the piano? I got questions. Take a first person look at things right now. You can't actually move in first person, that would have been pretty neat. But other than that, I'm not really sure what else we can do. Let's check the front door out. Okay, doesn't open, great. You know, what you can actually do is go first person and then orient yourself in the right direction. That helps with, I guess, maneuverability, so you know exactly where you're going. I mean, I say that as I run into a wall, so <laughs> let's go ahead and check upstairs right now. What else is popping off? I mean, nice house. You got the widest doors as well in existence. I mean, look at the freaking gap right now. <laughs> Why whenever I walk into a room, does Billy start playing the piano right now? The freak is that signifying? Something in there maybe? I think in the bathtub. Is there a fresh dump down there or something? I can't use the bathroom right now. Feels like someone is watching. I mean, close the door and then I guess that will solve that problem, you know? Okay, this room here, this looks like Billy's. It's checking the drawers. Nothing interesting here. Got all sorts of toys on the floor. I mean, we can go first person again to look at this stuff. Nothing really of interest though. It's just the kid's bedroom. Maybe we can open this thing up? We can. Look at that. He's got like a freaking- What? Is that an inbuilt wardrobe? Bro, are you kidding? Door going to the other side too? Right into this room here? The freak. Not a bad little setup, I gotta say. Wait, is that a flashlight on the corner there? Okay, go and grab this thing. Will you take the pocket flashlight? Of course I will. Can I use it? Hey, let's go. All right, this helps a little bit with, I guess, seeing some stuff around here. But what are we exactly looking for? I mean, are we even looking for anything anyway? We're simply babysitting, doing a good job. Why we've gone ahead and equipped a pocket flashlight, I have no idea. Okay, this door here. Looks like it goes to another bedroom. Open the door. I mean, I guess we probably could. No reason why we can't. Nope. It's locked. So that is the reason why we can't. Now, if I look from here, I think this door leads on from the one that was locked. Looks like it goes to another bedroom. Let's try and open this one. Don't be locked. Uh, okay, got this door here. Is with the forcefulness behind the open light. You hear the thud? Sounds like someone falling off a desk or something. You know what I mean? Right, there's a door here. We can go through it. 
Wait, why did this one load some stuff in? We're in like some kind of safe room, if I remember correct. This is how we save the game. So I think if we go over to this thing here, record your progress. May as well leave it for now. Can I check my inventory, perhaps? One single VHS tape, so probably don't want to save just yet, as all I've done is explore. I'm actually gonna head back out of here. Let's see if we can find out what we gotta do. Let's try this. Turn on the TV. I guess so. The power button appears to be broken, so we need to find the remote somewhere. That's what I'm guessing. Can we talk to Billy? We can. You have to find the remote control. Hi. Uh, have you got it? Dude just tells us we have to find it. Doesn't give us a clue. I reckon this brat's freaking hidden the remote. Checking out the kitchen. I don't see no remote here. The freak? Where is this thing? Hold on, open this. Got a first aid kit in there. I mean, I will definitely go ahead and take that. Yeah, we're definitely gonna take that thing. All right, I mean, we didn't find the remote, but that's a pretty good find nonetheless. Now, where could this thing be? Let's check around in here. Got something on the table right there. It looks more like a cigarette packet than anything more. Can interact with it. Uh, radio player here as well. So AM radio turn on. Freak! My goodness! Whoa! All right, this is this, I guess. Search for the remote. Whilst we're doing this. Okay. <laughs> Dang! For the matter of your safety and well-being, we have received reports that a mental patient has escaped from Lincoln State Hospital uh -oh. and should be considered extremely dangerous. I repeat, do not try and approach any suspicious persons, but rather alert your local authorities immediately. What about if they Fugitive approach me, though, you Nicholas know? Nicholas Burr, 38, approximately 6'4", 240 pounds, armed Dang. and dangerous. Oh, the apprehension of Burr gosh. is a top priority. Okay. Please contact the Sheriff's Department if you have any information about his current whereabouts. Uh -huh. God bless. And stay safe. Wait, this down here. Hold up. Will you take the remote? Freaking Billy. Are you kidding me? You hid it back in your room all this time ago? Well, I guess we'll go ahead and turn on the TV. The TV is on. All right, now I guess we can back up. We're gonna some Night of the Living Dead. I think 1968 for this one, if I'm correct. No idea. George A. Romero, though. Classic horror movie director. Anyway, the phone's ringing at the perfect time, so you know what gives? Hello, hello. Okay. I don't lie. The game is up. You sit in your ivory tower. Don't you judge me? I see it all. You dial 999. You don't ask hello right now. I guess 911 for you Americans. Well, I appreciate. Are you freaking calling again? Listen, if it's one more of those prank calls, I'm done. Hey, Sarah. Jill. You scared the crap out of me. Huh? With your phone mumbling BS. Just think about the voice pitch. Phone mumbling? When you just called. Are you off your meds again? I, I didn't call. If it wasn't you. Then who? Hey, remember that guy from the mall? Are you going to call him? Uh, yes or no? What about if the creepy voice was the guy from the mall? Guess I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, you. What are you going to say? Good point. I don't know. I wrote down his number, but left it in my coat. You better get it and call me after you talk to him. Remember, my number is 555-8345. Okay, once again. All right, now when we came in, I think the dude said he put it in the coat hanger, which I think is over there. Let's take a look. Maybe our coat's amongst these? I have no idea. Billy, looking for this? Jack's number, give that back! How'd he get that? You're gonna have to come get it! This freaking brat! Well, listen, I'm the master of prediction, so... You just gonna stand there and watch him run loops right now? See if he comes through anywhere. I don't know, though, man. I'm feeling that music in the back already setting the atmosphere for this. Billy, you pass me, you're done! Wait, where the freak is he, actually? I hear him running around. Okay, there he is! Get him, get him, get him! Oh, oh, there you go! Guys, I missed what she said. I was pressing the space so quick. All right, let's go ahead and check the items, though. Jack, 555-9124. Guess we're gonna go ahead and call it. 9124. Then we're gonna dial. Hello? Hey, Jack, it's Sarah from the mall. Oh, hey, Sarah. Are you doing anything tonight? Oh, you know, drinking, smashing mailboxes, and tipping cows. The freak is this character? Hey, I'm actually out of liquor. We can hang out if you have some. What? The freak? I think I can get some. Come over at 11.30. Sure. Bye. So wait, if we didn't have the liquor, Jack would have straight up like... What, what the freak? Why are we doing this? We're gonna talk to Billy, I guess, in the meantime. Hey, Billy, do your parents have a liquor cabinet? Yeah, but you can't open it without the key. So, where's the key? I'll only give it to you if you cook me something, you little bastard. I need a way to get rid of Billy. Hmm. So he wants some food. What about if we check in the kitchen then? Let's see what goods they got going in there. Now, there was a load of dishes just in this corner here. Lots of dishes in the sink. I guess we're not keen to wash up. Will you take the cereal box? That sounds like a good idea to me. Now we just need a bowl. So all the washing's dirty. I think we gotta clean. Unless we can maybe open this. Let's see over there. Nothing interesting here. Okay, so we have the cereal. Now, where could the other stuff be? Maybe in the fridge? Here we go. 
Gotta open the fridge, and I guess we're gonna take the milk. Yes. There we go. Hold up. So with these two here, if I click the milk and combine it with the cereal, you made cereal. That simple. Yo, Billy, I didn't cook you up something, but I did still make you this. So, take the cereal bowl. You, you can't use that right now. Oh. I'm hungry. Here, eat this. Cereal at night? Give me the key, please. You got the licky cabinet key. And that's it. I guess I know where we're going right now. Now, the parents' room, or at least their chill room, I believe was this one in the far corner. So I guess we're gonna kick the door open. Go on through the liquor cabinet. Open the liquor cabinet, of course. And I guess we're gonna take the brown bottle. All right, we'll take that with us. Now all we do is wait for Jack, I think, pretty much, and we're good. Ah! Bro, I ain't cleaning that mess up, you know? Billy fell asleep. I better put him to bed. Guess we go ahead and do that then. Now the most important part, our free time. All right, let's go back downstairs. Look at that, just on time, Jack ringing the doorbell. All right, Jack, we're on out. Hold up, or I heard it. I think it's this way here, to the front. Listen, if you keep ringing the doorbell, I'm gonna punch you. Somebody's ringing the doorbell. Unlock the door? I don't know, man. I mean, I'm gonna do it anyway. Hold up a second. Is think out there? I'm actually gone outside. Uh-oh. Hello? <laughs> I mean, the way we spin right now, that definitely kind of kills the mood, but... <laughs> Bro, that is lame. And that's definitely Jack. We already know that. You're an idiot. Ha ha ha. Yeah, very funny. You should have seen the look on your face. I'm not talking to you. Hey, come on, line up. It's a Friday night. Guess we did. I guess we forgave him and he comes straight back in. So, what do you want to do? Well, I was thinking we could, you know. Hey, cool. Is that Night of the Living Dead? I love this movie. I'm going to get a beer. I guess we're going to go ahead and leave Jack to it. He's definitely into the movie. Let's pop it. Freak, what was that? Was that from the kitchen? Let me check this way here. The door's still locked. I heard somebody out there. Better get Jack. Uh, I still want my beer, though, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that. I'm gonna be real, guys. I'm gonna actually skip out on the beer. It's probably not the best thing to do. So let's go ahead and get Jack. I heard a noise in the backyard. So what? So check it out. What if someone's out there? Then beat them up. But I wanna watch the movie. Go look now. Fine. Dang, how bossy. Jesus. <laughs> Wait, hold up a second. Jack's walking off like so. What about if Sarah deep down is working for the killer? Seeing these cracks right now. Yo, why you stop though? You know what I'm saying? Like, go ahead and check out right now what is out there. I don't know about this. Just go check. I don't want to. Please. Okay. I mean, when the door opens for you, bro, you gotta think the killer just opened the hand, sealed it behind you. Yeah, you're already dead. Better wait for Jack to get back. I guess so. Is there anything else we can do in the meantime? I mean, I'll wash the dishes. Hey guys, it's been a while. Let me go ahead and check on the door again. Still just gotta wait for him to come back. I mean, I guess I can check around the house in the meantime. <laughs> No. Oh. The freak. Okay, now that right there is a murder scream if ever I've heard it. Crap. Yeah, what happened to the lights? Bro, the lights are being good too. Okay, look, now, instinctively, where the freak is the save room? Is it this way here? Please be the save room. Alright, I'm gonna kick that door open. Let's go. Yes! Woo! Here we go. Let's get that peace and quiet, man. I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. Record your progress? Of course. What? Come on, guys. Even in the worst moments, you're gonna have some humor, right? Go ahead and save our game, okay? I don't know why I called it that. <laughs> However, the bigger problem, the lights cut literally as Jack screamed. I don't know about that as a coincidence, guys. I'm being real. I guess I have no choice. Open the door. <sighs> Let's go ahead and do this, man. Open the door. Oh, yeah. It's like we're going out now to find what the freak that noise was. And I think it was Jack. Take a little look around here. Like a baseball bat. Bro, that's an axe right there. You already know you're gonna take that. And that thing is bigger than you. Look at this. Will you take the axe? Heck yeah, we're gonna take the axe. Bro, you get it equipped too. And we can swing attack. Hey, my survival chances just doubled straight away. Let's take a look around here. Maybe we can go this way somewhat. Hmm, a lot of bushes covering our way. Is this way back here. That looks like a shed. It is locked with a padlock. Nope. And I guess swinging that does nothing. All right, don't know if there's anything pretty of importance. Guess we'll go behind the bushes though. Check in front. <sighs> It's kind of ominous, man. You get a short distance that you can see in front of this place here. There's another one. Okay, click on this. I'd rather open it up. Let's check out what we got in here. A car. Anything else of importance? Ah, nothing else here. Guess we're gonna make our way back out. Freak! <laughs> Wait, why am I laughing? Jack's dead! Oh my god. Hold up. Let's take a look at that. Dang, let me turn the flashlight off, bro. You must have weighed about four kilos with a screwdriver holding you up against the wall. Will you take the screwdriver? Yeah, I'm so- Bro, he fell through me. He was a ghost anyway. Bro, what the heck is going on? I can't even see where I'm going. Right here. Ah, uh, wait. Get back in the porch. There's another perspective. Hold on. There's the door here. The door here. Go, go. Okay. It's locked. Protection. Oh my god, bro. I'm machine gun in this space bar. Go, go, go. Run, 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 run. Billy. Hey, why'd you wake me up? 
I had to machine gun on the door. Billy, I need you to run and find somewhere to hide. Why? Because of that, just do it. At least he actually listened to us in that occasion. Oh my gosh, I'm turning the sound down. I can't even see in front of myself. So, what am I looking to do right now? I guess I gotta try and find a way to escape. How? What can I do? Look over there. I don't see anything. Okay, maybe not. We don't need to go in the bathroom right now. There's a vent here. Can I click on this thing? Rusted laundry hash. Open it. I've got nothing to lose right now. Go ahead and open it. There you go. It's like a cut through point. Jump down the hatch. Do I want to do that? Okay. Let's think about the situation we're in right now. So about three and a half seconds ago, I just found my, you know, what would have been boyfriend dead with a screwdriver pinned up against the wall. Then I decided to pull off a rusted laundry hatch thing and now I'm about to jump down it. <laughs> Actually, I'm not gonna jump down just yet. I don't feel like I found anything items wise, but I gotta be so careful, man. I don't know where this killer is. Hold up, let me observe. Don't see anything. Is this door still locked up though? Looks like it goes through to another bedroom. I mean, it's still gonna be locked, but I got an ax. Yes, it does nothing. Okay, open this room here. This feels so ominous. I don't know where the killer is whatsoever. Open this up, check on the shelves. Maybe I'll see if there's anything interesting. Okay, so it's a process of elimination. Nothing of importance within here, I don't think. Okay, look in the corner there, there's like an ashtray. But I think that might be it. I guess I'll observe all the couches. See if there's anything within those. And I don't think there is. Why is it gonna be so quiet? This sucks though. I can barely see where I'm going as well. These fixed camera angles, they don't feel good. They really don't. Okay, let me open the bathroom one more time. Freak. Uh, go in here maybe? I don't think I need a shower right now. Wait, why has the music started kicking in? Is there something in here we can use? Can't search that. Can't search the drawers and there's nothing clearly in here. All right, I guess we're gonna go back out. Why is it so silent? I hate how quiet this game is though. Billy? Is that you? I mean, it better be because I get an axe now. We'll chop at your forehead. We're gonna go on through. Billy? I really hope you got a good hiding spot, buddy, because... I don't know what else to say, you know? Wait, what about this down here? Has that been moved? Or can I move it maybe? No. I still can't interact with that. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna open this door again. <sighs> I really don't like this, dude. I don't know where I'm going. If there's a killer nearby, I really don't want to go back downstairs. Like, do I just jump down the hatch? All right, guys, we're back at the hatch. I guess we're gonna jump down it. I don't really feel like there's anything more we can do. Here we go, we landed. Okay, bro. Why the freak is the lens flare still on when the flashlight is off? As we jump straight down the hatch, some kind of basement, I guess. Can't see anything in front of me. All I can hear is the tap dripping and the echo around this whole place. What a gross couch. Thanks for the input, Sarah. Really appreciate it. Wait, hold up. VHS tape, right? Will you take the VHS? Of course. Did you hear that? It's like a croak or something. I don't even know where the freak I am. Oh my gosh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, run, run. These fixed camera angles make this so much more difficult. Like. Hold up a second. Is there something here? Why can't I take nothing? Will you take the bolt cutters? Yeah, I guess so. What the freak? That dude just straight up lunge attacks me, and I don't even know where he is right now. I ran like 20 foot, and apparently I'm good. You thinking here? What is this? Okay, turn over a chair. Ain't no time for sitting around. There's definitely a killer down here. So I've got bolt cutters. Open this door. Come on, Sarah. You gotta hurry up. Instead of just opening doors slowly, there is a killer down here, and he is after your blood, quite literally. Let's go through this way here. Anything on the walls. Like, you gotta turn so slowly. I don't even know where the freak I'm going half the time. Got an exercise bike in here. That way, though, I see that. Don't look like this anyone. Oh, come on. oh my god. Does that mean I'm. Wait, what? What about this door here? Can I open it? Will you unlock the door? Heck yeah! Oh man, I'm straight out of that basement, but the killer could be anywhere. So do I save my game now or like save the tape? I don't know, man. I feel kind of nervous. What are my stats like? Health is halfway done, so. Maybe I use this? I don't know. You know what, guys? I might regret this, but look, I'm gonna record my progress. Call that fart too, all right? I got a feeling I gotta go back down into that basement. But for now, progress is progress, man. And I think I know what I gotta do next. So over here, there was a shed, and I think it had a padlock. So if I use the bolt cutters on that, maybe I could cut the lock open. Okay, so if I go over to this thing here, maybe I gotta go ahead and equip this somehow. We try and use it. So click that, use. You can't use that right now. So how do I use it? Can I not do anything with the lock? Use, you can't use that right now. Why can't I use it? I don't get how we equip this thing. Combine the hand maybe? Bro, I just realized you can have a third person camera. Oh, for God's sake. That's gonna make this so much easier. Are you kidding me? These can open a lock. Yeah, go ahead and use that. So I don't understand what I'm doing. Maybe tools? Is that it? Like use with the tools? I don't understand what I'm doing. An old shit open it? Of course. Go ahead. I couldn't use it on it, but yet, Sarah, come on right now. There's a killer and you're messing around. Don't be doing this. So, Inside we go. 
What is different in here? I don't really know. Wait, what's this down here? Hold up. Will you take the gasoline can? Guess we may as well. So that's part way towards something. Is there anything more in here? Don't believe there is. Just a stack of logs, and I think that might be it. So with the gasoline can, do we maybe put fuel in the car, if I remember correct? The car. Can we maybe use the space on this somewhere? The car is out of gas. And that's why you've got gas, Sarah. Gas up the car. Sure thing. So that's got to be a step towards it, right? Oh, crap. I'm, I'm just messed up. He's trying to slash me down. Can I open the door? Go, go, go. Bro. Uh... I think I'm about to die. I gassed up the car, and uh, yeah, I'm all out of gas myself. He's hacking and slashing. He wants me dead right now. I mean, I can do it back. My head just disconnected from my body like a piece of Lego. Okay, guys, so you know what? I think we gotta go back down into the basement reluctantly. Maybe there's some more things down there. Hold up a sec. Before we do that, though, I gotta change the camera to, uh, you know, the other perspective. Third person, much better. And I guess we're down here. See then if we can find what we need. <laughs> What the freak was that? So guys, this time, I'm going first person. And this might be really stupid, but I really don't know what else to do right now. Let's go this way a little bit. Okay, maybe third person would help a bit more, just so I get a little bit more of like a view range. And again, I can kind of observe the rooms a little bit easier this way. Does that feel so? Let's open this door. Hurry up, hurry up. Go through here then. The other... Don't know if that means it's nearby. I have no idea. So, one more look around this room here. Perhaps there's something we missed? Mm. I don't think so. This room is pretty barren. Did we maybe leave something on the table here? Because we got the bolt cuts and stuff, but I think that's everything. I heard movement. Yeah, there's a second door we can open this way here. Let's take a little look through. So hard to see. Even with my brightness settings all the way up, I can't see nothing, guys. So if you can't either, yeah, you know my pain. Cabinets, hold up. Probably old tax documents. This is here. We take the revolver. Oh, do you know I'm going to be taking that good stuff? So this is progress. One more door to open up here. Come on, go ahead and do it, Sarah. There you go. So, what is through here, huh? Oh, it's like it's cool. There's a key. Uh, bedroom key. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I gotta remember my way back. I think it's this way here. Man. Oh man, please don't be there, guys. I get way into the games at this point, you know. My health is like halfway down. So I think if I go this way here and then take a sharp left, maybe that's the way out. But look, I'm kind of lost. I can't remember. This way here. Oh boy, I'm in the laundry room. Bro, this is a problem. I'm actually lost in the basement with a killer. No panic, no panic. Stairs, yeah, yeah, go, go. Oh my god. Dude, we're actually making progress. So we found some revolver ammo. Now, we've got the bedroom key too. Just be really careful. Sarah's still on the floor. Oh boy, just walk. No point running. I think the stairs are in front about here though. So uh, yeah, we're gonna start running. Stairs are here, let's go. Go upstairs. Don't even think about anything more. So the bedroom key, if I go to my left here, this is where we can go. Let's go. Use it. Okay, it looks like- yeah, I know. Open the door. Let's go. We're in. Oh, man, this is good progress. So, what is this here? Like a jewelry box? Can we open it? I guess we can't. There's a bed here. Oh run from where? From where? Oh my god! Run, run, run! Whoa! You see that dodge though? Get the freak back out of here. Run over to the other side. Maybe open the other door nice and quick. You see him jump out of the shadows? Okay, gotta go this way. Get off the door! Get off the door! Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're in a little loop. We should hopefully lose him behind this corner here, maybe? Still on our tail. So, what do we have access to in this room? It's like a flank room. Get off the door. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? I have no eyes on. He's got eyes on me, though. Oh my god, he's right there. <laughs> There's something in here that we clearly need to use, but I don't know what. Okay, just keep running. Maybe cut through Billy's room because he had like a closet thing. Straight through. Open, open, open. Here we go. And open this one up too. Come on, come on. Open the door nice and slowly. Oh my god! He's right there! How can you lose him? Do I gotta go downstairs, maybe? Let's go. We're gonna go downstairs. Please say this is our way away from him. He's still on that tail. Hold up. Dude, from where? I don't understand. I think he's right in front. Dude, this sucks. This really sucks. Wait, we lost him. It's gone really quiet. Okay, so now we can go back upstairs. Hopefully, safely. Oh man, this is like a looming threat. We gotta go through here. There was something of important. <laughs> Guys, I'm back in the bedroom. Oh my god. He's always- I don't even see where he's coming from. Like, I'm basically dead? Oh my gosh. This is too difficult. What? What doesn't he want us to get in this room? Hold up, let me go one more time. There's something in here. Like, hold up, let me open this. Go, go, go. So- What the freak? I got some revolver ammo as well. Now, what about if I make a break for it downstairs? What else do I gotta do? If I fuel up the car? Then like escape. Is that it? I genuinely have no idea. Let me try and I guess go back outside. It feels like there's a looming threat, but I don't know how much progress I've made. 
Be much better if I had full health though. I don't know how this is gonna go down. All right guys, so I got the gasoline can. I'm gonna do this, but maybe I can juke it down with him with the gun right now. I'm just gonna get this done. I don't know how this is gonna go. Let's go. Oh yeah, look at this. Here he goes again. I try and dodge it. Oh my, bro, why am I running in circles like that? I gotta get some distance going. Let me see, can we see him? So I gotta take pop shots. Hit once. Maybe that hit, but I don't know. Back up again. Woo! Keep juking him like this. Keep going, keep going. Here he is, here he is. Right there. I don't know if I'm hitting or not. I see no blood. Oh, I'm missing. We shoot at like a weird angle, I think. You can't turn in this game. It's like my cursor starts doing spins. What? <sighs> Guys, I made it back with full health. I don't even know how this is gonna go. I'm nervous as freak, okay? So I think I got the gun equipped. Let's get some ground. Here we go. So I gotta make these shots. Right. I mean, I hit him, but he hit me back. That's not a good trade. Gotta do more of those hits, right? Second. Okay. I don't know how he missed me, but bro, hold up. Get the ammo. There you go. I think I hit him again. Just gotta keep doing this. Oh my, look at him juking me out. I got him. I got him. Okay. Run, 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 run. Don't hug that. Holy crap. Holy crap. I got him again. Okay. I gotta reload. I'm so nervous right now. Back up, back up, back up. See him right there. Okay. I think I missed. That's fine. That's fine. He's bloodied up. Get off the bookcase. Gosh, if that is seriously my way out, I will be so mad. All right. We're still doing this. Though. We're still doing this. Hold up. Hold up. Shot again. I don't know how I'm doing this, man. I'm so nervous right now. Oh my god, you guys don't even know. You don't even know. Why am I looking at the floor? Why am I looking at the floor? Stop run, stop run, stop run. Bro, run. Don't you dare right now. Okay, look up, look up. Bro. Why did my gun shoot? Hold up. Oh my god, yes! Holy crap! Did you kill the boogeyman? Oh my god, guys, I need a minute. I am literally trembling over how difficult this game was. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Oh my gosh. I've been recording for so long. <laughs> Bro, I think we just died. No, seriously. Guys, I've been playing this for so long. I, I can't, I need to like wait a second. Like seriously, look at my hand. Thanks to your quick thinking. The kid is okay and you're still alive. Yeah, and look at me, I'm covered in blood, but Jack. I'm sorry about your boyfriend. The guy who attacked you is named Nicholas Burr. He escaped the Lincoln State Sanitarium earlier tonight. I don't mean to alarm you, but what what is it? By the time the officers arrived, his body was gone. But I killed him, he was dead. I assure you, we're doing all we can. This is an ongoing investigation. In the meantime, I'm going to have somebody take you to the hospital. You'll be safe there. Will we though? I have no idea. Guys, I am so happy I managed to beat this thing. I was so close to giving up, but determination got me through. Woo! That was Babysitter Bloodbath, aka Halloween the game. You guys always seem to love the puppet combat horror stuff, and I figured why not check out one of the older ones as opposed to all the new ones that they've been doing because there's still some good horror concepts here. The controls and stuff have definitely aged. Not too good, I gotta say. They were a bit annoying, but the game still played out nicely, and if anything, it actually gave me more of a buzz, especially like at the end battle sequence, than any of the new stuff has given me. But I'm actually still shaking over the fact that I beat that. It felt very rewarding, and I was so close to dying. I'm almost sure I was one hit away. But yeah, anyway guys, that was Babysitter Bloodbath, a very creepy concept for a horror game. And yeah, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.